Vlog. Um, day two of winter conference. I just got my coffee and the ham and cheese for croissant. Hi uh, guys, I see you. like this there's a high that happens here and uh, I think for some of us it stops here I would say don't let it stop here uh, take whatever you're learning whatever's going on within your hearts back to your campuses and you can see movements happen you can see people come to know Jesus you can see things happen I threw that you threw you is you're from Chicago yeah and so my question for you is is deep dish pizza overrated yes no. or no no, that's great. No. All right, so yeah, so great. All right, but people need to know that. Awesome. Um, well, you know, sure. um, would uh, love to pray for you. Um, before you. Once again, this morning, I'm excited to jump into the Word of God, and um, I, I thought somebody was going to get hurt up here on this stage. Y'all. Yeah, running back and forth, the most intense tic-tac-toe game I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. But that's how y'all do it, huh? I love it. Way to go. Way to win. And, and the Bowls, I believe it was, that won the game. Well, this morning, we're going to talk about the steadfast love of God. Uh, last night, we, we talked about the glory and how God is high and lifted up, but yet at the same time, he's still two, three. What up, what up is the more energy. One, two, three. What, what up, Pastor D? D? Yeah, yeah. Good morning. It is good. Lord, with my whole heart, before the gods I sing your praise, I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things your name and your word. On the day I called, you answered me in my strength of soul. You increased. All the kings of the earth shall give you thanks, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. For great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he knows from afar. But he says, my whole heart. David is saying, Lord, you have all of me. You have all of my heart. Now, this is important because I believe we tend to discount or cut short our worship when it comes to God. We don't give him our whole heart. We just give him parts of our heart. What, what do I mean with this? It's easy to come to God and be very thankful and say, God, I will give you this part of me. But unconsciously or consciously, we say, God, this part of me right here, oh, this is mine. Uh, God, God, God I, I, I'll give you this part, but this is mine. The staff here, including me, I want you to be thankful to God with your whole heart. But don't take off your clothes, okay? <laughs> give God your whole heart of worship. The text, it moves on to verse 2, and I... David continually said, he says, now I, I bow toward your 
holy temple and I give thanks for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. God's love, it, it never fails and does not give up. He sticks and he stays. But let me keep moving because David continues and he says that you exalted. minutes walking see you at the food court I'm at lunch right now eating a salad sounds good right now I'll see you after lunch hi guys I'm going to a session called how to study the Bible um, I will see you guys there I will vlog a little bit of that and show you Okay, see you in a little Hey bit. guys, I just got back in the room. <coughs> um, I'm going to a seminar, it's called Disability the Gospel. I keep you updated when I go, and I will see you later. I'm changing my mind. Which one I'm going to? Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, follow me, look in your Bibles. But I am the flesh sold under sin. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it is good. So now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me that is in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. For I do not do the good thing I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep on doing. Now, if I do... It's at the end there. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. I think it's just, uh, you know, that I serve the law of uh, God with my mind, but uh, with my flesh I serve the law of sin. I think uh, that's a good to point out because, you know, it's still a blessing that, you know, even though we have these battles of sin and stuff, we still have God, you know, uh, at the forefront of our heart and... Uh, I think that's how we should all like be thinking because I, I struggle with this a lot as sure. well, just like you know that tug of war. But I can still give thanks to God. That I'm wanting to you know be uh, righteous according to Him. Uh, uh, if you got drunk with wine, uh, you can also get drunk with sin, making decisions that you don't want to. So basically, whenever you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, you're filled with sin, 
and you're doing things that you might not want to do and that are reg regrettable like you would if you're drunk. Hershey's chocolate, of course. Yeah. Yo, baby. What else would we use? <laughs> Squeeze some of that in there with your shelf. Oh, a little more. Make a good chocolate. Oh, there you go. That's great. Now, is this milk filled with chocolate? There's chocolate in it, but it's not filled with chocolate, right? But there's chocolate in it. But when I do this, what happens? Yeah, it becomes filled with chocolate. Oh, that's a good rich chocolate. You might have trouble choking that one down, bro. <laughs> this is now filled with chocolate, meaning the chocolate is now invaded all the molecules of that milk. And now you have chocolate milk because you're filled with chocolate. So the Holy Spirit. You guys are shaping your worldviews um, and shaping how you interact with God and interact with other people in a way that will make you influencers. Like you truly will go on to influence your churches, your neighborhoods, your businesses, your classrooms, whatever that, whatever places God has you as the skin on your elbow, okay? This is like a part of your body you've probably, I don't even know if there's a name for it. Probably somebody, is there like a bio major here pre-med? Who knows? The name of the extra skin on your elbow. So probably not that you've thought about it before. But think of how different your life would be if there was no extra skin right there. <laughs> it it would have worked, okay? This part of your body that you've like literally never thought about, we don't even know the name, and it mostly stays covered, is incredibly indispensable. It is absolutely necessary part of the body. Going to dinner right now. I'm going to the mall. I don't know what I'm getting right now. I will decide it when I get there. See you I just later. placed my order. And I got this. I got a large sub. I get a sub, it's like Subway. Sounds good to me. Bellis is not right. I, I want a whole pizza and they didn't give me a whole, can't give me a whole pizza. It sucks. My food. Here's my, here's my food, guys. Looks good. Better be good. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, see you on day three. Like and subscribe.